this is how to draw pumpkins. And if you want to color pumpkins, I have a coloring book. It's on Amazon called Halloween Madness by Mikey Buzan. And there's a whole bunch of little things in here that you can color. Some kind of weird surreal ones. Um, ghosts, more pumpkins. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of these pictures. But that's not what this is about. This is about how can you draw a pumpkin. So the first thing we'll do is draw the, the fattest part of the pumpkin, just the center part, and we're gonna sculpt it from there. So it's kind of like, like a really skinny egg type shape. Just sketch it like this. And the thing about pumpkins is they don't have to have perfect shapes. Like pumpkins come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. So you can make it big, skinny, tall, chubby, whatever you want. But after you get the main, the middle part down, then you go to either side and just draw a line like that. And come to this side and draw a line. So we're gonna sculpt these into this main middle piece of the pumpkin. It just curves into the top like so. And I like to go to either side and kind of work them both at the same time to make sure things are staying consistent. And I mean, this could really, you know, we don't necessarily have to add more of these grooves, but I'm gonna add one more. And the more of these that you add, the skinnier they get because it's in perspective. So they get skinnier and shorter. And I'm gonna do a jack-o'-lantern type faces video soon. So subscribe and like the video if, if you want to. And also there's a Halloween playlist that has more stuff. Um, but anyways, then for the stem, I mean the stem could be anything. It can be all kind of different shapes. But I'm gonna kind of like draw an S shape, you know, curve around like that. And um, we'll also draw some leaves coming out. Okay. And then back at the base of the stem, we'll just draw a couple little lines here to give it a little bit of texture. So we drew two little lines there. Now we could draw uh, like a vine coming out and swirling around like so. Just a couple, three loop-de-loops. And maybe we want to add some more vegetation to it. So we could draw a leaf coming out here. And if you need to pause the video at any time to catch up, feel free to do so. All right, so that's the that's the basis of the pumpkin. Now, I'm going to fill it in with lime work. Um, you can use any material you want. You could paint it, well, depending on what paper you used. Um, but I'm just using a cheap, washable Crazy Art marker. I like cheap markers because I don't have to worry about wasting the ink. And of course, if you draw digitally, then you never have to worry about wasting materials because you never run out of supplies, never run out of colors. Also in inking, uh, I tend to start inking the left side because I'm right-handed. Whereas if I started inking the right side first, I'd be more likely to smudge it as I worked my way over to the left side. So that's just a tip to keep in mind. Luckily this marker dries really fast. So I haven't really had problems with smudging. 
then again I might jinx myself um, but if you try to draw this pumpkin let me know how it goes for the stem part I'm just kind of giving it three little V shapes see those three little nudges there And also, uh, let me know in the comments any ideas you have for me to draw. I'd like to hear your ideas. I always need ideas. And there you have it, there's a pumpkin. Now I'm gonna color it in a speed video. Thanks a lot for watching. And you can find the links to everything in the description box or the pinned comment below. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. This is how to draw them all and I'll see you in the next video.